Hello again. Uh, I'm Greg Benevin on behalf of Website Depot here with another podcast. And, um, you know, one thing that uh, if you're one of our uh, listeners or watchers or someone that's, you know, outside of the Los Angeles area, what you might not know is that, you know, Danny and uh, other members of the team here are actually part of uh, various community organizations. And, you know, community has always been important to Website Depot since the beginning. But even more so now during the pandemic, when, you know, folks really do have to come together to try and uh, get through this as best as all of us can. So that's why uh, times like this, we like to highlight more than just the clients we have and the people in our stable. We want to let you know about other members of the community that are out there doing good, that have businesses that can benefit folks from more or less all over. And um, that's what brings us to today's guest uh, here with James. How are you doing today, James? Hey, Greg, I'm doing great. Thanks for, uh, thanks for reaching out to me. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. Of course, man. No, this is great. I'm glad to have you here on this afternoon. Otherwise, I'm just sitting in my apartment. This is fantastic. <laughs> so, all right. So, yeah. So, it, uh, you know, let's get into it. I mean, it, it's, if you could tell us, you were telling me when, before this started about some of what you do with your business, and it's just fascinating. If you could tell us a bit about your business there. Absolutely, yeah. Well, you know, just a little about me. I'm a composer mm. and a musician, right? Okay. So I've played in bands, I've composed music, I went to school for composition. Mm. Um, so I write, you know, string quartets and, and I write for film. I write for okay. documentaries now. Gotcha. But, and, um, and I teach. I teach music and I like teaching so much that I ended up uh, finding amazing teachers to work with. And we mm. basically started teaching all around Los Angeles. Uh, we have about maybe 10 to 12 teachers. So we have this kind of big school of adults and kids. And then uh, the pandemic the pandemic hit and we all went remote and it, mm. it's totally worked because people have been home so much and, and they just want to keep on learning how to play music. They want to do something. In their right. So, so, so they've been uh, studying music with us and then, uh, and it's just been a blast. And, and because I'm a composer, we also now are teaching Kind of music production slash composition. Oh, it's an online program called Soundtrap, and we're basically kind of empowering people to write music and compose music on their own, it's just on their laptops with like a laptop and a keyboard and some headphones. And we just try to get them uh, empowered and excited. So I've matched some amazing teachers to that course, and mm -hmm. uh, we're we're teaching students and accepting. Them. It's really oh, fun. That's yeah. cool. Okay, yeah. so like how so. It, 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 so you're doing this remotely and it's like, is it, is it group classes? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Like, what can you tell us more about these classes themselves? Yeah. Well, the instrumentation classes, uh, kind of individual instrument instruction, guitar, mm -hmm. violin, piano, that's all one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. Uh, everybody gets kind of their own kind of focused teacher as they, oh. as they kind of work on their instrument. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And then with composition, it's, it's, it's one on one and group, so we cap this. We, we cap the classes at eight, and okay. and, we, and we basically take people from from anywhere, um, hmm. as long as their time zone somewhat can overlap with ours. <laughs> and uh, yes. and then yeah, the courses are four weeks long. We teach group oh, okay. classes once a week, and then we have these one on one classes, and then. Uh -huh. And then we get students to collaborate with each other online and create music with each other online. So it's it's very interactive, very involved for weeks of basically learning to express yourself through music. That's so cool. And it's it's yeah. and I also love the idea that it's you know, it it's four weeks. Like this isn't a commitment that's gonna go on for like the next year. This is not you're not signing like a mortgage to do this. It's a that's month right. of classes. That it's a month of classes and then and then we can, you know have an ongoing relationship or do something else, but we definitely don't want us, yeah, students to feel like it's some kind of overwhelmed, you know, commitment. We want them to feel like this is like a intro, it's a one-on-one, it's, it's in a way it's a tip of the iceberg, but at the same time, they're learning kind of the fundamentals of what it means to produce music uh, on a computer and to play music into that computer and create something meaningful for them. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. it, so like, is it, is it, you know, you mentioned uh, different musicians, all that kind of, is there like, is there a, a certain skill level or experience that a student would have had to have to take your classes or like, is there any kind of prerequisite, even if it's personal experience? I mean, what are you talking about there? That's, that's a great question. Um, 
basically we'd like them to have some sort of familiarity with the keyboard if they can mm. play a keyboard uh they know the notes they know maybe some chords some melodies mm. um you know that's that's even maybe three to five months of of keyboard lessons piano lessons oh okay can definitely get them to a place um, if, even less, I mean, you know, three months of piano lessons can definitely get to the place where they can sit down and do this. Yet, the 101 course, being only four weeks, there's a lot of learning the elements of music production and composition oh, without necessarily playing as well. There's a lot of creating loops, creating textures, kind of learning what it's like to build a song, you know, through through various sounds, combining sounds together, and then eventually creating your own melodies and your own harmonies while doing that. So, so creating music, playing music is is an important part of it, but not, but definitely not all of it. I see. Okay. So if you got, yeah. so I mean, like if someone has, from what I'm hearing from you, like like a basic understanding, like sort of a, a kind of ground level foundation. Very ground level. You folks can build ground. on that. Exactly. Exactly. Because they'll learn. Don't learn it. I mean, it's really surprising how much you can do with so little mm. in this day and age. I mean, mm -hmm. with technology is where it's at. It kind of levels the playing field to a certain extent. Oh, I and, bet. Yeah, it makes it makes composition and kind of the satisfaction that you feel through composing um, just much more accessible than than what it used to be. Which is a great time for students. A great time for teachers to be engaged in it. And in the remote element. Is, is another just 21st century thing when you can actually get people to come together and create music together, um, you know, create, you know, kind of, kind of a, the co-writing experience is a very intimate thing. And, and even from, a, you know, even from, even at the ground level in today's age, you can just get people together doing things together. It's really rewarding. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, it's it, yeah. it's interesting, you know, as I'm hearing you talk, it hits me for all the people we've had to come on the talk here. You're, you're maybe the first one to say truly unironically and organically that this is a great time for something. But you're right. I mean, this really is for this, this kind of thing. That's I guess that sort of leads into my next question is that, you know, mm -hmm. it's it's there's all these tools and all this accessibility and, and your students just need this basics. But is it, but I, I could still see. Speaking from someone that, you know, played the cello uh, from elementary school through to oh, graduated wow. high school, like it, but I quit as soon as it graduated. But like that, but I could certainly see being intimidated by the idea of composing something now, but from talking to you a bit, that, that it, you're, it seems like you're kind of leaning towards that's not the kind of thing a person should be intimidated by necessarily. Yeah, I mean, if I ever stood for anything, that's what I stand for. You know, that composition is not some sort of, special gift you have to have that music is a language and if you, ah. if you address the language you access the language you start learning syntax and elements of the language hmm. then you can start to string together sentences in the way that you and i don't even think about the senses that come out of our, our mouths Certainly. music in a way is is the same way it, it's composition isn't some sort of you know, special mystical thing. It's it's just people. You, you just sit down and you start to write. You know, you, you just try to create things, and then you learn along the way. Um, you know, a lot a lot of people come with this like really high bar because we all hear we all have these these heroes and these you know and they're at the top of their game and making these right. amazing songs. So we come in thinking that we have to be able to make songs like that too. Oh yeah. That's, that's not how it works. It doesn't work like that. If if you're engaged in music, then you're then you're basically engaged in a language, and it's important to just be messy with the language. Just learn it, make mistakes, let let your grammar and make let things be weird, and keep on right saying writing sentences down. Keep on doing things, and you'll see that things get better and better along the way. It's really it's really an important thing that I that that I believe in. That music is really not that big a deal. <laughs> no, yeah. that's great because it's, you know, because it strikes me more. It's not that for what you're saying, it's not necessarily that a person like has talent or feels like they have to have talent, but rather they have to feel like they love music. It's, yeah. it's, there's no judgment to it, but rather just their own personal feeling and connection to it then. That's right. That's right. And it's always great to have friends and people that support you, you know, that are like, yeah, I'd love to just listen to what you do, you know. Uh, you know, it, it, it's just the more we share, mm -hmm. the more we create, then, then 
just the better things are, you know, the more 100%. you see people taking risks, the more you see people uh, trying to say things that maybe they can't say in the English language, right? Mm. That's why we're drawn to, to music sure. because it has this incredible emotional element to it. Well, it's, you know, it's up to us to, to invest in that and try to say something too. It's, it's good for us to do that. That's what a hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I, I was just thinking, I mean, it's just, it's interesting we're talking and I know, you know, a bit of what a composer does and I know a bit of what composition does, but my, I'm assuming from talking to you, I only know a bit of what a person could do with what they'll get in your composition class and all that kind of thing. Like it's obviously you get to express yourself and all that, which is unbelievably great, but like what else, you know, does this set a person up for maybe like, yeah, well, it, it definitely sets you up to, uh, you know, there's kind of like a standard uh, medium of creating music on the computer. Like, huh. you may have heard of, maybe you've heard of Pro Tools, maybe you've heard of Logic. Yeah. Maybe you've heard of Cubase or GarageBand, these kind of things. Well, Soundtrap is, is basically along those lines. The cool thing about it is that it's all online. So, hmm. amazingly so, you don't have to download anything anymore. Hey. To, to start working with us we give you an account we give you a link all you need are some headphones a laptop and a keyboard and then basically not only do you just start practicing creating music but you learn the elements that kind of apply to all of these other programs so it's a great kind of entry level for learning how to express yourself on, on something called a digital audio workstation which is mm. what soundtrap is or pro tools is and you know if you're writing music nowadays and in the future these are one of the few things you use to do that other than just writing it down with a you know pencil and all that stuff right thankfully that's not you could still do that you know just yeah. have to that, that's good to yeah. hear and yeah. so well cool this this has been wonderful I was, I was wondering is there anything else that i haven't asked you or i haven't uh, uh asked you about that you'd love to tell us i mean what else can you tell us about this what else do you want us to know because this all sounds fantastic yeah it's just ongoing uh we start new courses every four weeks we'll probably take four weeks off for the holiday but then we'll start back up in january um good we'll have some uh some spots left for our october 19th course and then we'll do another course in, in mid-november um so yeah we're we're around um uh, if, if you would be so kind as to share contact information on the website we we're, we're here and we would love to answer any, any other questions someone has that's um, oh our right. teachers are amazing oh yeah yeah there we go yeah mention that yeah the two teachers that are our current experts with soundtrap both went to the berkeley school of music oh wow and, uh, they're both performing artists and recording artists so one of them creates music out there in, in the media and uses this stuff all the time he's also kind of a master jazz pianist and he tours with kind of some pretty big hip-hop names oh, wow. and then and then the other teacher is a singer songwriter recording artist uh, she runs her own outfit has her own band and has and so uses all these digital audio workstations and creates kind of amazing work and she plays I think four instruments she, she's my only teacher that can actually teach four instruments wow it's incredible. That's bananas. Yeah. that really is yeah and, um, so so yeah I'm, I'm you know surrounded by really talented people i just feel really lucky to to offer something like this to, to, to folks including you greg if you want in just talk oh to man me. no i i i'd love to I, i'm trying yeah we sold that cello when i moved my mom out of her old house I, you know <laughs> it's it's <laughs> well but that all sounds tremendous i mean i was even thinking about you know you mentioned you got the classes in january i mean what what a you know it's such a cliche at this point but what a wonderful way to do that like new year's resolution to find some yeah. new hobby that can make you feel good that you'll also be able to share with the people in your life what a wondrous thing seriously yeah if people if, if people just realize that music is really just that's all it is it's a gift then then uh, we'll be giving each other music all the time i love that that's tremendous man well yeah thank you so much for coming out james i'm glad we got you on the thing here and um yeah we'll put that info you can find it below here uh wherever you're watching this you'll be able to find that info and you'll be able to reach out to james and uh, check out these classes because this all sounds fantastic well on behalf of website depot and uh everyone else here uh my name is greg benevent uh thank you take it easy and uh have Thanks, a good greg, night. You're the best really appreciate you take care you too